What's up, guys? How's it going? Tony here. So, um, yeah, I'm just going to leave it. I got a couple of um, packages today, so we're going to do an unboxing. I know, right? Weird. Tony doing unboxings, but it's true. It's a thing that I do sometimes. Maybe. One of them's a package from Chris that he sent me, and it was supposed to be a surprise. It still kind of is a surprise, but unfortunately, um, the tape that is on the box is kind of telling unless it's a faint like oh oh it's supposed to be from this company but really it's not but it totally is oh that was weird oh, okay i'm like wait what why is my eye purple <laughs> it's just my glasses um but yeah and then um uh, I got my birch box for this month, so I'm going to open that up and see what I got. So, uh, yeah, work today, so that was a good, like, that was a little surprise. I knew that I was going to get a, something from Chris um, last night because he's like, oh, hey, you know, something I sent you is being shipped, and it should be in today or tomorrow. It should be in by tomorrow. And I'm like, oh, okay, I'm probably going to be at work. And then I came home, and then I saw a thing on the door. It was like a FedEx, oh, we missed you tag. And I'm like, oh, no, because I realized it's Memorial Weekend, and Memorial Day's on Monday. So since I missed it, and it's FedEx, they don't do deliveries on the weekend, because they, it's like, oh, we'll deliver it on the next business day. And I'm like, I have to wait three days? What? I have to wait until Tuesday, but it's not a package for me. It was a package for my sister. And I, like I looked up the the tag, I looked the like like looked at the little number delivery number on the tag, and it was like, oh yeah, package is like forty four pounds, and it's like X and X size and X and X like so wide and so long and and like only so deep, and I'm like, oh, well, that's not a thing. I'm like that's that's way too narrow for Chris to be sending me something. It's it's way too long. It's it's too tall. It's too wide. You know, it's too it's too wide and it's too not that deep. So it wasn't anything that I think he would have sent me unless he was sending me a mirror. <laughs> so yeah, it ended up being a bike that my sister bought or something. I don't know. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and get to the unboxing. So. Um, yes. Sorry, I've got like two different types of lighting. I've got warm lighting over here and I've got cool lighting over here because that's artificial and that's a mix of natural and, um, uh, highlight lighter. Right, it's like, oh, here, this is my lamp. You can see outside. On the other side of that window is the sunset slash the... 605 freeway right by where I live hmm but um yeah all right let's get to the unboxing but stop all it. right so here we go unboxing time we're using my bed because there's no space on my desk currently because my room's a terrible terrible mess because I'm a terrible mess of a person uh, everyone's gonna say, no, you're not, Tony, you're real cool and you're real nice. Yeah, being cool and nice does not mean that I am not a messy person. So, here we go. Let's go with, uh, Alberto Boxo first, because, uh, that looks like it's gonna take a while. And see, that's what I mean by the, the, uh, the, the tape's kind of like a little telling. If you can read, can you read that? I think you can read that. It's sideways, but yeah. Anyways, first box. And it's hefty. It's hefty this time. Um, let's see if I can... I've done this before, single-handed. Ah, manpower. Grr. Grr, I am man. Hear me rawr? Yeah, I rawr. Yeah. Ugh. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> no, it's like, it's like, ah, oh, manpower. Ooh. Because the, uh, there's something, like, as soon as I opened up the package, like, you could smell something minty. Um, 
So here we go, opening up the box. Let's see, this box is just the beginning. Good sir, blah, 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 yeah, 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 yada, 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 cheers, Birchbox man. Um, let's see what we got. Now, usually, before, when they, they sent out the little postcards, it used to have, like, all the products that it was, that, that came along with it. But, unfortunately, they don't do that anymore. So, this month's... I guess the for the month of June the theme is the open road. And well, it looks like I got a little bit of looks to be the desert, the mountains, San Francisco, because that looks like the Golden Gate Bridge slash Bay Area. So yeah, I'm gonna go with that. And I think that's there's a couple of buildings that are iconic for San Francisco. But uh I don't know. I don't know. Anyways, so let's see what we have here. Uh, win a free year of soap. Uh, celebrating blah, blah, blah. Uh, California's... Oh, oh, Baxter of California. I actually like Baxter of California. It's one of the few products that um, I've gotten or that I've tried before and that I really, really like. So, here, let's take a look what we've got here. This is Parlor by Jeffrey Chastain. And it is a conditioner. Which, um, I'm actually, I might actually try this out. Because, well, I don't actually think, I don't think I need uh, volumizing or texturizing uh, conditioner. But... I I want to try it out because I have been testing out conditioners because since I, since I've been growing my hair out I just you know that it's just nice to have uh yeah so next we have histories de parfum embre ember embre one fourteen let's see here. So it's Oriental Epice? Ep Epice? I don't know. Fucking French per French per perfumes, colognes. It's, it's a man scent. It's a scent for men. But it's a parfum. I'm gonna spritz myself really quick. Because why not? I only wear so many scents. Oh. Okay. Um, so I just sprayed my wrist. And it's got kind of... Uh, to be quite honest, it kind of smells a little bit like old man. Uh, yeah. Well, there's hints of, like... Talc? Like, okay, like baby powder a little bit, but not like, but not like baby baby powder. It's like a man baby powder, if, if there's such a thing. Um, oh, you know what it is? It's, um, it's like this one, um, aftershave. I forgot what it was called. It, not like it, it's like aftershave slash, um, shaving cream. It's like, it's hit, like, like once it, like, it's starting to mix with my skin and my own, you know, scent. It's a little bit like, um, screw it, I oh, goddamn. Okay, so, uh, one of the things that I, like, one of, it's hit, okay, it's like hitting a lot of scent triggers right now. Um, I'm being thrown back to being, like, when I was, like, six or seven and I was at my, grand, like, I was at my grandparents' place. And it reminds me of my grandfather's um, shaving kit. Like the he had like he had a legit like um, soap tray and a badger hair uh, brush that he would mix with the mix into the soap and he would lather it up and he would shave with a straight razor. And it was so cool. 
and it had this it had this scent and it smelled almost exactly like this but that that little it, okay so it's like it was it's a mix of that and a little like i said a little bit of powder which kind of like and it, it basically just reminds me of my grandparents bathroom because it was it's a mix of his um it's a mix of his shaving cream and my grandmother's, like, th there's a thing, like, I don't know what it is with older people. Okay, like, people, I'm 30, so, um, f men and women that are, like, currently, that should be in their 90s. Uh, there's this one particular, like, powder that women used to wear and that still, they still, they still make it. My grandmother had it. It was in this little... Uh, not little, it was like this huge case. It had this big powder poof. And it was pink. And she used to she used to apply it to herself every now and again. And it had that like that was her scent. So yeah. Uh going on about that. Sorry. Uh like I said, it was it's just like it it's a scent trigger that just hit me right now. Uh here we go with uh CW uh, Bergs and Sun face scrub, exfoliating face scrub. All right, not gonna bother. I'm like all the other ones. I'm like, oh hey, yeah, no. And then this one, it's another parlor product. Let's see. Oh, it's just a shampoo. Okay, so it's like volumizing shampoo. And you guys saw my hair earlier. I really don't need like a volumizing product, what at all whatsoever. Um, I'm gonna save that. I'm gonna save that for uh, a hot second. And this is the this is soap. This is oh, this is Kiehl's. Ooh, okay. Oh, there we go. Ultimate man body scrub soap. Ooh. And I, like, I feel weird because I've been given, like, they've sent me Kiehl's products before. And, I mean, they're really nice, but they're super fucking expensive. So, like, this is a soap that I will use uh, sparingly, I guess. I don't even know if I'm going to use it sparingly. I'll just use it as is, you know, the ultimate man, but it's, that just gets me. What's in it? What What's inside of you? What are you made up of? What makes you so goddamn expensive? Let's see if we can focus. It would help if my hand didn't shake so much. God damn it. And there, oh, okay, uh, bran and oatmeal with invigorating citrus extracts. So what the hell smells like peppermint? Oh, it is a soap. Maybe there's peppermint oil that's also in the soap? Cause that is not citrus. There, there might be ci citrus ex extracts in it, but peppermint oil is like super strong, and that it smells like peppermint. So yeah. All right. Uh, final thing in this month's birch box. Da 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 da. da. Let's find out what it is. Um. All right. So it was. Ah. Cheers from WMP Design. Open her up. And it is a flask. This is actually really nice. Uh, what does it say? Make it a double. Make it a double. Ah, that's cool. Alright, I can dig it. I dig it. This is a neat little flask. It's, uh, it's not quite fire red, but it is a red tint. It is a cla it's, it's a classic flask. It's a good size. It fits in my palm. So, you know that. 
That's saying something, though. That is actually saying something. If it fits in the palm of my hand, then that is that is a good size flask. Make it a double. All right. Cool, cool. Uh, yeah. So that is this month's first box, and it's it's actually really cool because um, I've gotten a, I've gotten a flask before from Birchbox uh, a while back. It was uh, a lot smaller than this. It was a little dink, round-sized uh, flask. Barely holds, like, two shots in it. So, yeah. All right, so here, let's get into um, my other box. Fuck, it's not focusing. Also, I, I probably should change the lamp because the sun's going down. And, oh, hey, what do you know? Better lighting. I probably should have done that from the beginning. I am a terrible person. <laughs> Again, I keep on saying that I'm a terrible person, but I'm I'm not that bad. I could be worse. Uh, all right, so moment of truth about trying to figure out what is in this box. What's in the box? What's in the? Bo okay, I can't I can't whammy this one. Like I was like I whammy the the birch box box, but okay. And it's styrofoam. <laughs> That'd be funny, right? It's like, it's styrofoam. And then, oh shit, it is Godiva. Holy fuck. Oh, is it being kept cold? It's being kept cold. I was actually kind of worried. <laughs> I was actually really, really worried that it is, it was going to be like, Oh no, he sent me chocolates and they're not cold. They are like melted or something. Oh, oh, what's this? Oh my God, it's really, really cold. It's like super cold. Okay, so. Oh my God, it's, oh, it's adorable. It's cute, it's cute, it's pink. <laughs> it's adorable, it's cute, and it's pink. Uh, I believe there's a message in here, unless that's just an invoice, or stickers, it feels like it could be stickers. It's got that sticker paper. Nope, it's just an invoice. To, oh, uh, that's, that's my address. Uh, the Nine Piece Bliss Heart Box. Uh, looks like it was sent through... Oh, it's got his little message in here. I can't get it to focus. Focus. Focus on his love. Focus on his love, goddammit. There we go. Just wanted to say I love you, Mr. Cinnamon Roll. Heart the meat bun. <gasps> oh, I'm gonna have to, like... I'm gonna have to cut out part of it. But yeah, look, look it's so cute. It's adorable. This is so nice. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, the box is so cold though. But, okay. Yeah, it's like, they, they sent this like, cold pack thing, and it is still cold. It is, it is freezy. It is freezy cold. That, that, is, that is an ice pack to keep things freezy. And like, I guess Chris was, like when he bought it, he was surprised that it was... Um, sent so quickly, but you know, it's chocolate, so they want to make sure it gets sent out relatively quickly and it doesn't melt. And when I saw the box, I'm like, oh god, it's gonna melt, like it's gonna be melted or something because it's it was it's a huge box. And oh my god, eh. all right, fighting with the box, fighting with pub, stupid bubble wrapping. All right, get in there, and you get in there. And is there anything else? No, no, maybe. Nope, that's it. Okay. Ugh. So, here we go. This is uh, the Godiva Belgium 1926 assorted chocolates. And it's in a little heart box because we're super gay. And in low. So. Uh, was I supposed to open it that way? 
Nope. Nope, I wasn't. I am a, I am an animal. <laughs> it's like, there's chocolate in here. And it's mine. Uh, eh, eh, eh. Ah, yay! God damn it, there's more wrapping! Why is it so difficult to get into this chocolate? Why? I just want the chocolate. Just give me the chocolate. Eh, eh. Okay, okay. Got it. Got it. Got it. Fucking get it. This is, I'm like, I, cause I don't want to not have the thing recording. Cause I said I was going to record the whole entire opening process. -na -na -na. Oh my God, the smell of the chocolate's coming. I just like, it wafted out. just like a chocolate fart. <laughs> but, uh, yay, more little heart thingies. But look, chocolate. All of the chocolate. I don't even know what's in it. It's just a nine assorted piece. Is it? Not? Yeah, nine assorted pieces of chocolate. So I'm gonna go for the first piece that I see here, and it is dark chocolate. Cause I love dark chocolate. Okay, hold on. Okay. So I just took a bite. It was so good. Also, now it's like super artificial lighting on this side and warm artificial lighting on that side. Mmm. This is really good. Like, holy shit. I love it. It's good. That's good chocolate. It's Godiva. Let's just, let's face the facts. Um, Seize Candy, you use that for Easter. Um, you use, you use Seize Candy for like Easter and Christmas maybe. Uh, if you don't like the people that you're sending chocolate to. Um, for birthdays, it's the Rocky Road Chocolate Company. Or the Rocky, or the, yeah. Yeah, it's the Rocky Road, a Rocky Mountain Chocolate Company, or Chocolate Factory. You use them for, like, birthdays or something. Godiva is Valentine's. Valentine's Day? Valentine? Yeah, Valentine, whatever. It's Valentine's Day, um, New Year's Eve, slash New Year's Day, birth, like, like, important birthdays, anniversaries, the people that you love on Christmas because you're willing to spend that much on chocolate. And, like, Mother's Day slash Father's Day. If your parents are, like, into, like, chocolate. But, ah, uh, Mmm. Okay. This one's a little mixy. It is... Milk chocolate on the outside with white chocolate on the inside. And a little bit of caramel? I think it's caramel. Tastes like caramel. But there's something else, like crunchy. Like malt? Or a cookie crisp? Some sort of crisp. Sorry, like, when it comes to, like, certain flavors. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm, like, going over, I'm, like, <laughs> I'm analyzing the chocolate as it melts in my mouth. So, it's, like, uh...
Okay, so this is the white chocolate one, obviously, but... The inner chocolate, that's like it's a hard white chocolate outside and there's a soft truffly inside. And I'm trying to figure out uh, if there's a specific flavor on the inside. While still trying to enjoy the white chocolate. White chocolate is like not chocolate. <laughs> I know it sounds really, really mean, but it kind of is true. No, the white chocolate, like, it's like overpowering anything else that might have been on the inside. Hmm. Alright, and then I'm going to try the regular milk chocolate one. Ooh. That had a good break to it. That was a good, that was a good clean crunch. Okay, so, the outside chocolate melts beautifully. The truffly inside, the way that it feels like it's melting on my tongue and on the inside of my mouth, it's like, it's like the way that really good ice cream melts, really velvety, but it's not cold. So it's like a weird... Like, you just feel it melting on your tongue, and it's just like, ah. Oh. And it kind of just, like, spreads around and everything. Sorry. There's going to be a lot of mouth sounds. <laughs> no, no, yeah, but yeah, this is really good. Oh my god. Oh. That just reminds me of the first time I had Godiva chocolate. It was like... Oh my god, I was I was I was still in high school and we had I think it was like it was a freshman in high school. We had just moved to like Long Beach and uh we had gone to the Cerritos Mall, which is a, a local mall, and they had a Godiva store in there and I had I think I had like fifteen bucks on me and like I was like, oh, cool, we got, I'm like, 15 bucks, like, 14 years old, 15 bucks. You think about it now, like, 15 bucks is not is not going to buy you anything, but back then, <laughs> 14 years ago, 14 plus years ago, um, 15 bucks was able to get you at least five, five bucks, I think, got you, like, five truffles, because you'd buy, like, you'd buy, like, four and they give you one free or something. But, um, I, I, like, me and my sister, we were just running around, and we were trying to figure out what we were going to spend our money on, and then we see the Godiva store, and we're just like, what's this? Because we grew up in the ghetto, like, okay, it wasn't like the ghetto, but it wasn't like, super, like, oh, hey, we have, we have Godiva stores, but, um, Yeah, no, I, it's just like, again, another, like, trigger memory of, um, trying Godiva top chocolate for the first time. My sister got, um, some chocolate-covered strawberries. I went and I got truffle, like, I got their, their, like, their chocolate truffles that they made at the store, and I'm like, oh, these are really good. Like, I literally bit one in half, and I, like, 
I literally stopped. And they're just like, oh, you get what, like, you, you buy four and you get one free. And I'm like, what? Which one should I get? Because there's literally just this, it's not, it wasn't a huge, it's not a huge store. And, but the display case was just like, oh, hey, there's, there's a good fair amount of truffles of each flavor in the display case. And you're just, I'm just like, here I am, this 14 year old kid, 13, 14 year old kid looking at this display case like it's fucking Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. And it's just like, oh my God, what do I do? So I get uh, a white chocolate and key lime. I still remember what I got. I got a white chocolate and key lime. I got um, a raspberry and um, dark chocolate. I got a, just a pure milk chocolate and a pure dark chocolate. And then I think I got one with hazelnuts. Is that five? Key lime, raspberry, milk chocolate, dark chocolate, hazelnut. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I got. And literally just tasting the milk chocolate and the dark chocolate right now, just like, it's the same exact thing, only not in the, you know, these were like, um, like huge marble sized ones. Like they were like a good sized marble chocolate truffle. And these, these are just... I, I feel like these are just the same amount of chocolate, but, you know, in a different shape. <laughs> these are, like, medallions, because they've got the, uh, the Godiva G in the middle of it. It's really pretty. And they're really tasty. And I'm going to eat the other milk chocolate one, because... Fuck it. Mmm. It's so good. It's so good. Like, if you had the chance... If you have the chance to actually go down to a Godiva store, do it. You got like five bucks or something, grab whatever flavored chocolate you like. Milk, dark, I still don't count white chocolate as chocolate because it's not chocolate, it's just solidified cocoa butter, more or less. It's just chocolate, it's, it's the fat, it's butter, it's chocolate butter. It's the butter from the cocoa beans, I think. But, um... <sighs> so, yeah. You gotta get this stuff out of my face. <sighs> so good. So yeah, so babe, thank you so, so much for one, the chocolate, and two, for the memories, because literally this brought back a whole bunch of like memories, and it just made some new ones, and I'm going to save the last four pieces for a little bit later, and then I'm just going to toss my uh, bridge box stuff in uh, the Birchbox box. I have a box of Birchbox products that either I have not used yet or I'm never gonna use because they're like, no, oh, anti-aging cream or anti-wrinkle cream. And I'm like, no, I'm a full face mofo. Uh, by the time I get wrinkles for these around for my face, it's gonna be a while. So yeah. Oh, um, hold on. I just throw you onto the bed. I haven't, I haven't talked about this yet. One of my new favorite products. Wow, La Croix. This is what I've been uh, substituting sodas with for a little bit now. Actually, for a while now, like the past couple months. So, and they come in on awesome flavor groupings. Uh, this one in particular is. Uh, what are you? Melon and grapefruit. Grapefruit and melon. It sounds like a weird combination, but it's actually really tasty. See, because the way they do it, it's like through essential oils. 
well, basically the essential flavors from the fruits, which are basically essential oils, Tony. Anyway, so you smell it, it smells like the grapefruit. You taste it, that lingering aftertaste is a melon. It is such a mind fuck because it's not um, a particular, it's not sweet, it's not like the flavors that you taste when you, when you drink it, it's just like water. It's just like sparkling water because that's what it is. And it is so weird because you like, it's, it's, for me, it's a good trick, like, it's a good way of, of tricking my mind that I'm drinking something that's going to be sweet or like, like it's an actual soda or something. I have this really bad habit of drinking sodas and it's not good for me. And it doesn't, like, I, it used to be that I used to do the, the supermarkets like four for $11 or whatever. And I literally hoard four excuse me i'm so sorry i used to hoard four cases of four 12 packs of soda in my room and it wasn't doing anything like it literally i the only reason why i would drink that much was because i liked the feeling of the carbonation and it took me a very long time to realize that like, I don't need that much sugar or caffeine. I just wanted that bubbly feeling from the the carbonation. So I went ahead and I'm like, I started drinking um, these, these the uh, store-bought carbonated waters that were sweetened. They were like, oh, it's like no sweetener, no nothing. But it was actually, it actually has like artificial sweeteners in it and... It's like, oh, black cherry, this, that, and the other thing. And I'm like, oh, it's still not good for me. But uh, it's better than it's better than the amount of, sh like, um, non or actual sugars that I'm putting in my body. And then these things came out, and I'm like, okay, that's a whole new ball game. So, yeah. And currently... Um, there's like every time that they've come out with a ma like a, a flavor that I like, I get it. Or like I, every time there's a new flavor that they come out on Amazon, because it's cheaper for me to buy it on Amazon <laughs> and have it delivered to my house. So um, mango or not mango? Well, mango is one of the flavors that they have, but mango's uh, comes in the regular size cans. These are the little skinny tall cans. Um, but the melon, this melon grapefruit flavor, the cantaloupe and pink grapefruit flavored one is one of my favorites. I also like the apple and cranberry and, uh, there is another tall can flavor that I can't remember off the top of my head, but yeah, all those are really great and tasty and yummy and delicious and I love them all. And I've been talking for way too long now and this is going to be a really long video. So, I'm going to go ahead and cut everything up together. So, yeah. Thank you for watching. I will see you guys tomorrow. Yeah, probably tomorrow. Bye.